up punks, Jay here, and uh, welcome to another Masuda hunt while we wait for Multiplayer Monday to get back on track. <sighs> With me today is the excellent uh, the Rat of the Monarchs and the Crows. Hello. A very quiet crow. <laughs> I'm hoping I can be, it's because of the way I'm sitting, um, my microphone is not at my desk, desk, because I won't lie, I'm sitting in bed right now, so my microphone is sort of below me. Um, Fair. Right. Go and, so I, I'm, a, I'm a person who has quite a lot of fatigue, so if I'm video editing, I will video, video edit in bed, um, or watch stuff in bed, or work in bed, because, god, my life. Um, let me prop my microphone up or something. Bed. Um, yeah, no, okay. Right, so I have another five boxes of quack sleeve eggs here. And uh, let's hope How we don't have a sprigatito situation. How many eggs have you got? It's five times 30, 150. Yep. Okay, so it's not like the 210 for the cat. <sighs> that was horrible. That, that was right. the first stream. And you had like another like 150 for the second or something. 160 maybe? Don't I had no, 150 for the second one, but then it just showed up in the 11th egg. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Wasn't there a bear for that? It was quite, it was quite early in the stream. Well, you, 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 were watch, you were watching, and then when we found out, when it was going crazy, then you jumped in. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> oh, you found it. Good. And then you still, you know, you didn't find another one, because I was like, you've got to keep going and see if we find another one. But... Oh, I just I just started doing um, 30 Quaxley eggs because I got bored of catching eggs I knew wouldn't be shiny. Fair. I've I've been speaking of Pokemon. I've been trying to get rid of all my fan fees for my shiny hunting fan fee journey. Why didn't you just well, sandwich hunt it? I still haven't got one. Uh, but now I have like three boxes full of fan fees, so I'm just uh, surprised trading them. Is this all because you managed to somehow get it with 50, 51 Sprigatito eggs without the shiny charm? That's what made it even more annoying for me. That was oh. so funny. And I found a shiny Meowth while I was doing it. You, you, you two were having a fight about that, I remember. Well, he's mad. <laughs> I think it's funny. Right. First, first egg of the night. Okay, okay. Please. Oh, I have to be prepared with a clip just in case. Not that it's going to happen. The lighting's gonna be a pain for this, though. As I've said, there are some new sounds on the soundboard if you'd like to test them out. Oh, good point. Oh, yeah. Um, let's have a look. I'll let, uh, I'll let Kira do that. I had to stretch, I couldn't reach my phone. Ducks. Ducks all over the place. If only I had a shotgun. Peter. The, the horse is here. The harmonic just redeemed Peter. The horse is here. How evil. <laughs> no, there's the sound. I heard it. There you go. Peter. The Peter. horse is here. I, I have also noticed, Jay, yeah, you've done a thing since we last spoke. Um, we now have a little icon. You can thank Tori for that. Little crow. You can thank oh, Tori yeah. for that one. That was Tori? Toy, oh, toy suggested it to me. And I've got my my really good at shadow dub edge bog. You got your little wife. <laughs> I think uh, my baby girl. Thank you very much. <laughs> shadow the hedgehog is to me as Leon Kennedy is to Meg. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I remember it wasn't Jay. It was several weeks ago now. But Jay asked in. Discord chat, you know, who's your favourite Sonic character? I think me, Meg, and um, Tori might have... Might have Everyone said her. Shadow. Meg, Tori, and Kira all said Shadow. And then a few Shadow hours later... <laughs> and then a few hours later, the Sonic Generation Shadow boy, remake got made. Announced. I was just like, oh dear, we have a type. <laughs> I'm concerned. Edgy. A guy, a guy I work with, I was on lunch and I was talking to him about the new Sonic movie that's coming out. Mm. Uh, and I was like, oh yeah, and then I was, like, he was like, oh, I don't really know much about Sonic. I went like, I'm just excited because Shadow the Hedgehog is going to be in it, and he's like, oh, what? I, I, well, I don't really know anything about it. I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to watch that little girl get absolutely fucking murked in the movie. 
And he was like, what? And I was like, and then I started explaining shadow lore to him. And he was like, you know far too much about Shadow the Hedgehog for a lesbian. You want to fuck him. And I'm like, no, that's just my, that's my baby boy baby. And he's like, no, you want, you don't fuck the hedgehog. And I'm like, I'm not trying. I've just been running like arguing around with him over the fact that, no, I'm just obsessed with him. That's all. Look, the last time I checked, Akira, um, although you can remind me, um, you're bisexual, aren't you? No. Oh, you're not. Lesbian. Oh, then who is it? Is it just me and me and Tori? It's Meg. Oh, I'm Meg. I'm getting you confused with Meg. I apologise. I'm so sorry. It's common. Well, considering Tori thought that Meg and Kira were dating. Oh. I mean, to be fair. The way they, the way they introduce themselves. Sorry, okay. it's it's well, we're lovers. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, Paramore. That's that's what they call it. Uh, yes, I'll go with that. Makes my wife. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see if I can get some. Uh, let's see if I can get some of the other sound bites going. Which uh, no, no. Ah, here we go. This one hits home. Take that depression. Nitro I mean, 991 just, just reduced take the depression. Yeah, same. How evil. I'm not hearing double, it's a bit weird. So, take the depression, how evil. It was supposed to say what take that? it was supposed to say take that depression. Oh I see. <laughs> You've spelt something wrong there. <laughs> the cadence of that became very different. <laughs> it was like take the depression. Like take ooh, it. I don't think I I don't think I want any more depression in banking at all. This one is a bit more worrying, but I think it'll be a good laugh. Okay, I'll put the audio back on. Have a look. Ow! Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, here it is. You're a baby, a loser, goddamn baby, you're a fucked up little whiny bitch. Yeah. Yeah. So I haven't seen um, the updated version of the Amazon Hotel has been made. Has been Hotel. I haven't seen, yeah. I haven't seen the updated version. Yeah. Did it? Well, you know. I was. Pilot, so I haven't watched it yet, but I've listened to the music. It's good. I have to be honest, I was kind of curious about how you'd react to Has Been Hotel with your face. I'm obsessed. I, I enjoyed. Um, hell of a box. So yeah. It's just like has been ho has been hotel kind of goes a bit more accurate to the Bible. Like they even have Adam as a character. Yes, I know Jess. But yeah, but like I saw I watched the the first episode because it was put on YouTube and I'm like, You have a dick. I'd hate you. You're not an angel. Yeah. Don't shut off. I would not be surprised if you're a demon in disguise. Go away. But it's it's yeah. very, I very much enjoy it because I'm like, ooh, this is delving into my religious trauma, Pog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no faith. I'm, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Towards the end. Uh, what episode was that? Six, maybe? Hmm. With the fact that your religion betrays you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, that song. So good. So good. Hmm. I understand what's, what the character, like, loot is supposed to be of a character, but man, I just hate loot. But she is a villain. Well, technically, you have seen loot, because she is in the first episode. She's in the first episode, yeah, but she's she's mostly in the background of being grumpy. Believe me, she'll get worse. Yeah. I, oh, I, will have I keep to... seeing cosplayers, I'm like, go ahead, go for it, let's go... I also went down the rabbit hole of uh, looking at Black Butler uh, mm. cosplayers on TikTok last night again because mm. I just yeah. love seeing people cosplay Grell. <laughs> I know that is. Yeah. Thing is, um, I've seen something recently that was Hot Woman at a convention. There was like a a, a partner couple dressing up as uh, Charlie and Baggy. Nice. The person who played Charlie proposed. Oh. Yeah. Love that. 
Yeah. Oh uh, god. I was slightly annoyed that a lot of the original cast on a part of the show anymore. Uh, well, yeah. well, to be Charlie's fake. original voice actor is still in the show, but for mm. I think maybe two episodes. Mm. To be fair, Keith David um, really hit fits with Husk. I prefer the singing voice of oh jeez, um, Alistair for uh, Black Griffin. I think everyone likes for Vin Alistair. It's Alistair. It's Alistair. Yeah. If I preferred the previous singing actor for him, I don't really like the recent one as much. Um, it's not bad. Another character it's good, really. It's actually, it's actually good, but it's not for the other one. Another character I really hates Velvet. Just what I understand, she's supposed to be like the I'm physical bad. embodiment of social media, but. <sighs> Great song though. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'd stay away from social media. You, no, thank you. you won't like Velvet then. <laughs> Great song though. <laughs> yeah, the song's called Respectless. It's so oh. good. You got it. I have to look at the album. I'm not the one who needs a new attitude. She's also British. <laughs> oh, we, we went for like proper. She stepped proper on me, egg. Like swear. Like mm. toy. Oh, like come on. Toy. Swearing's in our flipping blood. Oh, well, yeah, it really is. Absolutely. And to be fair, Jay, I'm the one begging you to swear half the time instead of saying something else. I'm saying scrap. What's wrong with scrap? I know, but just... Sometimes for the love of God, say a fun. fucking swear. <laughs> I'm sorry for trying to improve my fipping language. Not bad. To be fair, you actually have a similar attitude to how I do this one. Um, so yeah. I do a little bit, but like, it needs to be well placed. I will, you know, place my swear in, good, in a good place. Oh, I just not, you know, I throw away all every, the time. You know, it's not for every single word in a sentence. Unless the sentence yeah, is just, just one word. I use them like they're... <laughs> I use them like they're, they're, they're running out. Like okay. they're giving them away for free. You gotta get them now. Am I still in the same area? Around. Yeah, I am. And yes, I'm just driving around this giant building here because it just... I don't run into Pokemon then. No, you got a... You got one of them boys help to do the thing quicker? Yeah, I got a Volcarona. Oh. oh, you should hear this as well. Um, you know the car... You know the car brand Toyota? Or Toyota? Yeah. Use. They're making a physical recreation of Maridon as an actual working motorcycle. Wild. Oh. Um. You would do what? What were you saying about Peugeot earlier? Uh, yeah, I mean Porsche. Watched... Porsche. 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 So you were mentioning that just before stream. I'm just like, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. If anything, it feels like. Car brands in the moment. Yeah, now the, oh, no. now, the, oh. now that the Grand Tours stopped being as common as it used to, product placement's gone low for car manufacturers. Oh, I mean, I there's still races and stuff. Video. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> which one? I had yeah. the, so, the Skyrim yeah. launching yeah. the car. Yeah. So, yeah. Spoilers, audience, slash chat, or anyone that's watching the VOD later. Oh, right, yep. Yeah. Um, we um, we you have heard too much. You will be silenced. No. Oh, oh, you're gonna edit that out. Oh, no. Oh, I've been silenced. And also, oh, no. also, this egg has been trampled on. You didn't, tell, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me I was meant to keep that secret. Well, come on, it's a future okay, video. Fine. Okay, fine. We won't talk about it. I just, yes. I just keep don't talk about the war. <laughs> we also don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno. Oh, no. So every time it sets me off. Every time. We also don't need the license. Yeah, we don't need Disney to bitch at us for licensing. That's why I'm singing it shit. Can't sing it. I mean, all you got to do for that is play Kingdom Hearts. Yes. Or, or um, Persona Five. Because I had one of my VODs taken down because of that. 
I had two two vods of Kingdom Hearts, and I only have one. Yeah. Well, yeah, by a chance, were you in Atlant? Were you doing the Atlantica level? That's something though. Like when I did Persona 5 Tactica, no attention has been given so far. I haven't noticed anything so far. No. Um, I was watching it the other day. Uh, I think Marina got shocked, and then you know a couple of scenes later, he turns back up. Yeah, I was. You were you were shocked a second ago. Why are you fine now? Yeah, I was wondering that. If anything, I was expecting the lawyer guy to get a persona awakening. I'm, I'm expecting that to happen. That guy's getting a persona. There is something with them too. There is something with them too in the real world. I wouldn't be surprised that the storyline isn't arena exists in the real, real world somewhere and she isn't just in this world, you know what I mean? I she's been here for so long that she's forgotten. Thing is, uh, I think is, I think it would have been yeah. really funny if the main villain was actually planning to marry Yusuke though. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that was funny. Things like, um, just, just at some point in the at some point in the story, yeah. you find out that the main villain's trying to marry, and then everyone's thinking about who they're trying, who she's trying to marry, I, I, and then you stay or you, and then one of the one of the scouts say that they're after someone, a pretty boy with dark hair and a gazing yeah. glance, yeah, and then people that. click. Wait, they're not talking about. As a He's gonna try to marry Yusuke, isn't he? <laughs> yes, yeah, but then, but, but then I, was, I continued to listen to the episode and Yus Yusuke turns up and starts speaking and I'm like, Matthew Mercer! <laughs> no! I think it's very clear He's that Matthew everywhere. Mercer. Can't get away from him. I mean, Why is he telling me I have affordable students? What's going on here? I mean, it was already bad enough when Jay played Persona 3. Unfortunately, they haven't finished that playthrough. I think. If you ever go to Vino, you will say. I um, don't know what's happening with that one, one at this point. One of, the, one of the Critical Role members plays. Um, God, I can't remember his name now. Kira, help. Uh, which character are you thinking Will of? Brian plays. Oh! Plays. <laughs> uh, b b b b b b he plays that mm. actually not in this game, I don't think. Because he is yeah, not Akihiko. Like he, oh, he bugger. He was the Akihiko He's not in Reload. He was Akihiko in, yeah, in the original, in the original. And, yeah. so and in when she, uh, Portable. Jay played the original like, V-Master or something. And then we got yeah, to Persona, Persona 3 Portable. I, like, yeah, I think Jay got stuck. I, I have actually got stuck. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah you, need, you need the reflexes of a flipping hummingbird to react to the, to the shadows. So... So it, so it turns out where you're stuck is a really common common part that people get stuck at, mm -hmm. and there's there's no backtracking. You're stuck at that point, so that's it. Um, but I was like, I could, uh, the Akihiko, uh, uh, Japanese name, uh, I, uh, my autism and my speech does not allow me at any of this. <laughs> but that actor, and I'm like, no, you, stop it. Like every time it sets me off because it's like I, I just hear the original voice actor. And it's just like I'm not hearing the character, I'm hearing. Lee yeah, Brian. actually, in Reload, Alejandro Saab plays uh, Akihiko. Uh, I heard a little bit and I didn't like it. <laughs> I won't lie. Well, I love Alejandro. Uh, he also he's a VTuber um, called uh, Sayu. So I will have to like. So I didn't look into Velo too much because I knew that Jay at some point would play it, and I wanna, you know. I am honestly. I am currently playing it. Oh. I am honestly oh, contemplating the idea. I'm enjoying of, it. I'm oh, contemplating okay. the idea of maybe um, deleting the reload, uh, the um, the yeah. uh, old playlist and the just re replay reload. And re yeah. Because it's then free. The will be someone in there. Keep the vods because I think. Um, I'm sure there are clips and some parts of that that I can use for later. Don't ever get rid of content because it's like you can deal with it later. Or you know, keep an archive basically is what I'm saying. Um, Stream Raiders is uh, going up if you want to have a little explore of that. I don't, I don't know what that is. I still don't understand. I haven't like. No, that's, I do. You know. It's basically you get to. It's like a little RPG. And I basically kind of get to take part in. <laughs> I basically have Morbin time as my character at the moment. Do you need me to log into Twitch? Do you need me to add my? 
password? Because if you need me to do passwords, I can't be bothered. Oh no, I just need to authorise. Oh, there we go. It seems to be doing it. <sighs> yeah. It up as well. I, I assume you will go to reload after you finish Tactica. Or you might I was... something else for a little bit. I'm just you could play Persona 4 Golden. Oh yeah, after Tactica, after Tactica, I'm planning to play Hi-Fi Rush because that's coming out soon. Oh, that's a good idea. If you have a problem with that? You need to put streamer mode on, specifically. Like, oh, Mike don't. Said, it is a music-based game. Don't, yeah. don't worry, Mike's filled me in, and apparently the streamer mode songs are just as good as the main soundtrack. But also, I kind of think I'll need my audio advisor to show up and check up yes uh also there is a band which i love Ooh. all of Crush their 40. songs are uh you can you can use them on stream all cool. of them if needs be oh, that is the whole point of the band. uh it's good kid good kid i think i've heard of them yeah yeah they did the soundtrack for a video game also a little indie game wasn't no straight roads was it uh, hold on. I'm gonna no pull up their Spotify real quick and just check. That Mike and Tori had in the past that I had to like edit around and was like, how do I, how do I edit this? How do I like explain Oh, uh, speaking of Mike. Hmm. He's been in Discord a little bit because someone's died and both Tori and Tori No, and I mean. Mike were having a conversation. He's in the voice chair. Oh. Is he? Hello? He might be hearing, okay. Oh, my brother in Christ, he when did you get here? Doesn't have his mic on it at all. Oh, god damn it. I need a new backlight. Look, if you look on the screen now, my backlight just conked out. Conked out. That keeps doing that. Don't you need to plug it in? Or keep it plugged in. Mic can't be on mic. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. It's plugged in but now, hello. that's the thing. Okay, that, that thing's shit. You know, you got faulty little piece of meh. Okay, this isn't the best, but these are the only lights I can turn on at the moment. I haven't been turned on already. That's all the eggies hatched. Okay, that's the first one done. The first box done. Yeah. Duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. Brain cell season. Oh, when's that? I need to know that. When that's all. Brain cell season is when you get rid of them. <laughs> you know, hunting. Oh yeah, so... Uh, Good Kid is a Canadian band. So mm -hmm. about that, eh? And... Yeah, it, they gained popularity through the use of their music on Fortnite streams. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Which... The band has chosen not to issue DMCA strikes so that their music could be used in streams. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. So, like, they, Which they've, like, includes agreed that some of their they, covers. So, basically, they've agreed to the internet that you can use our music. Yeah, fair game. Use them. Oh, that's, that's good. Cool. Send. Hey, can I have... Mm. Can you send me the link of that just so I can, like, check them out? Because um, that might be helpful for uh, anything related to editing. I often use Kevin McLeod because they're like they're, I know they I know he gets used quite a bit, but there are some really comedic like timing music pieces that he has that everyone gets the joke to the second it pops up, you know. Um, so it's good for punchlines. Yes, it is. I've done it. You know, it's find just, the yeah. game that they did as well. Uh, that was a second. Mm. He's like being sneaky. So yeah, that was Kevin McLeod. Um, the other one was more recently with the recent e episode that I was editing. Um, Jay knows what it is. I'm not allowed to tell you what it is apparently, audience. Oh no, um, that, that was also Yes, um, a little bit of a hint. The video will be called The Worst 30 Minutes of My Life. <laughs> Even though the video is going to be like vaguely 60 no, minutes. No, uh... 
The game that they did the soundtrack for is Ghost King's Revenge. Sounds familiar. Where's the phone? Ghost King's... Ghost... Ghost King? Ghost King's Revenge, that's what it is. Uh, they just put out a new song else. Well, I'll just... Pop a link to their Spotify in the Discord. I'm considering a cool like I'm considering a little funny little trick for Tori at some point. I'm gonna ask them if they can do an emote of they basically an emote of themselves, but as an artist or something. And then whenever <laughs> and then whenever people are complimenting her art. I'm just gonna get the whole chat to spam just this app, this amount, and just torment her with compliments. I love, I love the Pokemon bot because it, it comes in and it's so funny. I was like, damn, I forgot I had a Chikorita. Oh, that reminds me. Um, yeah. can someone test the recent um tab and see if it shows up the most recent clip? I just did it before the stream started. Yeah. Discord? Twitch. What am I looking for? The the the, uh, the prompt is um, in between the chat and the torch. Oh, that's oh, okay. oh that's my pace slip, yeah. not that. Yeah, let's just say I kind of messed around with a lot of KFC references during the torch video. KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, that's an E. Oh, that's an E, that's a C, that's an A. Okay, not double C. Oh, C, V. Okay, that's bad. V, There you go. Yep, that's Very good. Shiny yeah. cabinet something. I don't know what the title for that is. I can tell it's the right one, though. Okay, okay. Please be a teal. Please, please yeah, be a teal yeah. duck. Please be a teal duck. You see. This is why I've taken it to kit. It's hmm? the color is really close, so it's like I don't even know if I would recognize it. It's like with the cat, it's just like purple eyes. Considering we were just looking for a cat with contact lenses, I think this is a bit yeah. of an improvement. No, but better. I mean, it's pretty good. Somebody just gave me a pip up. No. Cute. Considering I am trading oh, okay. for cocos yeah. right now. You're playing the recent Pokemon one, what's it called? Um... Scarlet and Violet. That's the yes. one, thank you. Oh, I, I was happy on Pokemon Day, they announced Pokemon ZA. Yeah. I know. The meme of, you know, the other two areas, and everyone's like, that one? Okay. Well, t to be fair, I was yeah. expecting Legends Unova. I was ex yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure Mike wouldn't have said no to Legends uh, Johto. Considering he's a Johto boy. I... <laughs> I'm a Johto boy. I just traded a Fue Coco and got a Fue Coco. <laughs> the only difference is the one I got back is Japanese. Uh, well, then you don't know what the name is. You t you've got to tell us what the uh, what it translates to. Thing is, um, I even could not tell you. Even though it's Japanese. It's in kanji. <laughs> Even though it's in Japanese, it actually is a different name. Like when it's dubbed from yeah. Japanese, it's a different name. Oh yeah, I love seeing the French and the Spanish ones because they are something completely different. If I remember, like, I have a, a Greninja. I think mm. it's fr it's either French or Spanish. Well, is it called di uh, is it called that's dinner? A shiny Piplup. What the fuck? Uh, if it's got a website, no. if it's a if it's got a website on it, it's hacked. Uh, it's a Wraith shop. Yeah. Time to see what you've got in your little hands, little guy, and for me to take it and then send you away again. Uh, also, Croy, about the person that ended up passing away. The guy who made Dragon Ball, and yeah. basically one well, of the reasons why manga and anime be became as well known as it is now. The one me and Tori were talking about. Yeah, yeah, I have gathered. I know it's to do with Dragon Ball. Yeah, creator of Dragon Ball, yeah. Dragon Quest. So it was Dragon Quest, which, which was what I was familiar with him from. The whole internet is yeah. the whole internet is gonna kill me. Doctor Slump. Yeah. I read it last night while I was in bed, and I was like, "No, um, can't have shit in Detroit." 
I didn't watch Dragon Ball. Well, no, neither have I. That's why I didn't, you know. I did. It, uh, it just looks so over. Well, uh, it was very important to me in my formative year. Still very important to me. I'm not saying it isn't important uh, that what this guy also, did. I think but... it's where my uh, type of when a, when a male character is on screen and I'm obsessed with them, I have a type. Vegeta from Dragon Ball, Shadow the Hedgehog. Pointy head men. There you go. Yeah. Not pointy haired men, but moody guys who like moody, seem like they don't moody. care, but actually care a little too much. Yeah. And then what about the other one? Just um, high he high heeled, long leg ladies. Oh God. That, no, yeah, the no. other one's just women in general. Kira, you have the same type as me. <laughs> Shove off. Stop <laughs> just it. Fuck off. I, ju I like the emo boys, <laughs> but not be I, not because I I want to be with them. I I want to. <laughs> You I don't wanna... know if I want to be them, or if I'm just obsessed yeah, with them a little I, bit too yeah, much. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit like that as well. Like, like my favorite character from there. Persona 5 is a catchy, so like... Psychotic. I like them feral boys. Pan one of my favorite things in the world. Is that... Pancakes? What, what are we talking about, pancakes? Are we, why have we mentioned pancakes? So, who's up for pancakes? I think Kira would get that one. Oh. You know, like, at the end of the fight, at the end of the episode of Husband Hotel, this video just goes, so, who's up for pancakes? Oh. I, f I forgore. Then they didn't get it. Oh, wait, Never mind. I've got to get rid of that Piplup. So, I want to ask everyone's opinion on something, though. Um, how, su how successful do you guys think Gotta Go Fast February did? I think it was pretty, well, pretty, the, the, pretty fucking cool. I, I like the idea. I wasn't around very much. So, you know, struggling. Mike to 543 like just redeemed Vine Boom How Evil. <laughs> the fact that just, yeah, it just goes. <laughs> how evil. But yeah, it's just. I think we do well, need to eventually. For you. We, we do need to eventually do the gotta go. The, um. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog uh, video yeah, at some point. Yeah, that didn't happen because I was sick and so we um, I did. Everybody got oh, sick yeah. at the same time. Yeah, and it kind of left me in an awkward situation because uh, <laughs> we were so dedicated to doing that, I had no substitute. So I just had to quickly My go on Sonic Adventure too. Blaming me for getting them sick, and I'm like, our boss gave it to me. I'm not patient zero here. Uh, th th there's your wage for the day, Kira. The sniffles. Here, have the have the sniffles, and when they get to their worst point, like I had them for almost two to three weeks, did I have the sniffles? And I started to get better, and then I got really bad one day. I had to call in sick to work, and I was so mad because it was a Sunday, and I get paid extra on Sundays. I was so mad. We're about All Let's I'm gonna say, say um, is a bit of was... shame. Like it's a, that was a bit of shame. So we're, we're talking about illnesses that everyone managed to come down with that week. Um, for me, uh, without giving into specific detail, it was a uh, dietary ish issues uh, backwards. Oh, I've... <laughs> I have them That's every fine. day. <laughs> I got. It's not... I'm not. My body does not want me to eat food without suffering afterwards. Yeah. My mind doesn't want me to Built think without having a panic attack. So there we go. Mm -hmm. If there is a god, he looked at me while he made me and was like, "Okay, want to eat food? Nah. You're gonna regret it afterwards. And uh, you want to breathe at all when it gets cold outside? Nope. That's." Not Okay, that, I'm not sure if this is going to be a bit weird to say, but I just had a thought about Husband Hotel. Sure. Is God going to show up? I hope not. I hate that guy. <laughs> that might be a bit much. Yeah. Sure. I'm just thinking, because like, we got Adam. We got... <laughs> we got Lilith. Um, Saint, Saint, we got St. Christopher. Like they're being they're being quite uh, accurate got... to names in the Bible. What the fuck is his name? He's at the gate. Saint Peter. 
Well, yeah, St. Peter. St. Peter, Adam. And Lucifer was part of it as well. Seraphim. Yeah. There's several different types of angels, the Seraphim. What the, what the fuck was Emily again? She wasn't a Seraph also. I don't know. Was she? I can't remember. All, all I can say is Sarah doesn't trust so. heaven anymore. Well, the, they did a great thing with visual storytelling in that scene where Emily is talking to Sarah and as she's trying to justify her actions, the hells of fire are reflected in her eyes. Yeah. Which gives us a viewpoint, without saying anything, into Emily's sudden flip and change of... Uh, in her thought process, because she's like, you were supposed to be running this place and kind of being a good person. However, now I see it in your eyes, through my eyes, that there is this fucking evil within you. And the fact that she just gives that grin to a point where she's just trying, right, listen to me now. Do this is how things work. Yeah, that says to me, she's starting to go insane. Especially with that face we see on her the last time we see her. Doesn't help that in that scene that Sarah is also hot lady, hot lady moment, evil hot lady moment. <laughs> it's like they didn't have to make her that attractive while she's like explaining, "Hey, I know. Listen, murder kind of bad, but you know, had to do it, had to do it, had to do it, had to do it. Like it, I'm, I'm the bad guy here, but had to do it. But the, the oh. Are you seriously saying an animated angel looks attractive? <laughs> Yes. Sorry, people have had revelations about animated characters for years. You know, like people have had sexual awake, sexual awake, sexual awakenings from animated characters for years. Yeah. Also, I've. This isn't the first time we've had this conversation no, with no, me no. about an animated character. I'm sorry. We were talking about Shadow earlier. I mean, if I, angels yeah. be your swing, go for it, Mike said. Listen, if it's humanoid, but just not humanoid looking enough, I'm probably yeah. going for it. Uh, we were just talking about like um, how insane a character who is supposed to be good is turning yeah. to, being Sarah. You know, the traditional like, eyes that don't blink every smile uh the hells the flames of hell coming from underneath the screen I mean, yeah that, that kind of insane yeah but also i mean we've talked about this before i think um the fact that when i was playing resident evil village and oh yes that person uh, after oh. after that way, that uh the dimitrescu like in her normal in her normal form would absolutely would i love her i love her voice actor maggie robertson also who oh, voices uh Aaron in baldur's gate um but i after lady dimitrius transforms into the big horrible uh dragon monster thing i still would <laughs> it still would yeah no don't think i was as interested anymore Still would. Oh, but like what drove me nuts is not only did I like Lady Dimitrask, I liked her daughters, but I liked yes. who's the doll lady. A E I O U. Donna! Donna! I love Donna! Oh, Donna I liked as well, and I'm like, oh no. Like, I the love Donna, Donna. But her, her usually, like her average form, her normal human form, and I'm like, ah, type. I mean, so to be fair, Donna didn't body. really have a big transformation because yeah. her so cado was just specifically isolated to her eye and it affected her yeah. brain so i gave her red for a minute um and there's also a yes. i get like a, a painting. painting it's the painting yeah yeah the painting of her before the the implantation mm. of the cado i'm on her her story is so tragic i mean I really like that she, her, Can I wait for her, her? I'm uncomfortable. Her lore is so tragic. Yeah. And it, it kind of interpreted one of two ways in the fandom. Mm -hmm. It's either... Uh, I don't... I don't... See, now, I, my problem is I don't know if this is headcanon that 
been reinforced so many times in the fandom that I now think it's fact, or if it is actually fact. She... The daughter of a, a family of doll makers. I don't think I her parents... That. Pushed off... Of... Well, not doll maker, but like artisans. They do... I think they did oh. either... It was like... Clothing? Or woodwork? Or both? Or something like that? Uh, then her parents Clothing. died. Yes. Clothing. Her parents died. Yes. I think, uh, might have been of their own doing, I think. Was... Then, I think oh, they no. either jumped off a cliff, or they were pushed, I can't remember. <laughs> Them oh, so she could get a Donna, or if Donna's parents died because they decided yeah. to die. Oof. And then Claudia is either Donna's daughter or Donna's sister. I think it's her daughter. Yeah. Where's Jeremy Kyle when you need him? And then Angie is like, I, I'm not really, I would say like her replacement. Either the doll she had for her daughter, which now has part of Donna's gift in it. And she now treats Angie like her child. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think it has to be the daughter thing. That makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, I'm having a. I've seen so many things where they put her as her sister and not her daughter. I'm it's not super clear yeah. in game. I'm getting a really Have scary visual the, uh, glitch. Uh, uh, not, not a, not a, not a. It was not a funeral. What's it called? It was a. There was a grave. Which you had to find yeah. the pieces for, and then you could take it to the merchant and get like an item from it, and you got a bit more once you put it together. Yeah. 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 Um... You could sell Lady Dimitres crystal to the Duke, mm -hmm. and then he was like, them together. Mm -hmm. "Yeah, I'm getting a really." Yeah, you can collect all of them, but he was weird about it afterward. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm getting a weird. Like, that's a that's a corpse. Them. Yeah, there is I, more to do with these characters. I want to see more of this lore again, I hope. I'm getting I a... Look, I quite like the lore of this. Go on, I Karen. did play the DLC. Hmm. Where you play as uh, Rose. Uh, Rose, yeah. Going back through Miranda's fucked memories that are all kind of smushed together. So then the Duke becomes a bad guy. Yes. The um, acting for that was great. Which is so good. And okay. then, what was it? Your one from seven comes back again. What is her mm. name? Can't remember her name. The child from seven. The big bad from seven. Mm. What is her? I cannot remember her name. She yeah. comes back in Donna's. In the mm. in the Ben Viento house. She takes over that part. And then... I think the one after that is Miranda. Oh, oh I know who you're talking about, yeah. yeah I'm... All of the... Yeah? Was it Mia? No, not Mia. That's that's Ethan's wife. I'm talking about the child mm -hmm. from. I'm getting What's her name. Evelyn. I'm... <laughs> Evelyn. Evelyn. There we go. I'm getting a really scary visual glitch on my screen. I'm yeah. You were saying that I can't see anything. Yet. Well, it's on my end, but like, um, on this on the portion of um the OBS where it's showing its recording, the mm -hmm. timer hasn't gone up. Yeah, it's still acting as if it is recording. It is. You're recording. We're seeing this, and you've been fine for the last like ten minutes. You're good. No, like um, just for yeah. reference. It's it's like, also taping. Recording. Usually, yeah, I'm yeah. taping it as well, but it's not saying if it's adding more time to the recording it's making. I have no idea. I can't help you there. Jay, I do need to run a thirty-second ad, so after this egg, could you pause? Okay. Give me a second. I'll tell you when. Some of the... Yeah, I was talking about the... I'm gonna, gonna run an advert the... for a moment. 30 seconds. Uh, hmm. Give me a minute. Ah, uh, loading, loading, loading. Okay, it's going. Oh, jeez. I'm just doing my job whenever I, I am here. I want to move, I want to move, I want to do stuff. Oh, um, I've, I've finally managed to um, book myself in for a referral for therapy. Oh, good, finally. Only problem is it's um, ne only problem is it's next month. Yeah, 
that's not too bad. Yeah, that's actually a decent time to be fair. Um, I believe, um, dude is now telling me he wants to run out another round. I just ran one. Tori had the same problem. It's gonna, it's gonna force me again in like a minute's time you know, for no apparent reason. Oh no! I when Tori trade that? When Tori no, was. No. Now it's just it's, run, it's just running out by itself on its own. Wait. Despite the fact that I've just run one and it should be, you know, the timer should reset, but it won't. When, so now we've got to wait for another minute. When Tori, Don't move. When, when Tori did it, the exact yeah. same problem happened. So what mm. happened that day was both me and Tori clicked the button at the same time. No, no. I don't know why it's doing it now. Tori was on her own when it happened. Weird. Yeah, it's been doing that to me a lot more recently. Um, I used to just reset, and they had thing. I'm gonna have to do a. Where's my phone? I need to do a Google the. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Madness. Twitch ad. Thing not working. So I was talking earlier about the um, how Pokemon have different names in uh, so in different languages. Like the German name mm. for Jigglypuff is Pumaloof. <laughs> so cute. Sometimes, sometimes they're silly, and then sometimes you're like, "That's cooler." Like for what is it? Um. Uh, Electros. It's called. Uh, Zaplarang in uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Electros. Mike, Mike's favourite electric type. There by any chance. Um, is it continuing to run ads because it's now just telling me all sorts of shit? It's not being, isn't it? It keeps saying ads starting soon. Um, but it's now, you know, not giving me a timer of anything. It's like, not telling me any of the normal business. And now um, an ad. It's a bloody fucking ad again! I'm not doing that. Shove off. Um, imagine. That is the third time. Imagine um that scene in the Snap Cubes redub of this Sonic Adventure 2, which is I'm back in the fucking building again. It's just it's running out of a fucking head again. <laughs> yes. So normally, so normally it should run them vaguely every hour, um, but when you run them yourself, you get. You know, a downtime of when it shouldn't run. Now it's giving me my time downtime again. You've got 40 minutes to run another one. Now that oh. ran, and for reference, I did half an hour, then it forced one minute on me, and then it forced another 30 seconds on me on its own. Stream Raiders is up and running. Yeah. I wonder if people actually put something in. It should be back to normal. Now, Two units. I've got more BS on mine, so. Yeah, I'm sitting really far away from my screen, Let me see. so the stream, whatever the stream made is, is really small. Um, so I'm not joining. I was like, I just can't see what I'm doing. No. I'm on. Like, I do not like to sit on top of my screen. I'm sitting. I don't know, three arm lengths away. Okay. Like six feet away. Let the battle. Begin. That really does look like Morbius, doesn't it? I'm thinking vampire survivors. That, is that what I'm thinking? The weird vampire with all. Game, game. Like it. Okay. And since uh, Big Grand Monarch was the only person who joined, they get the reward. Ooh, big boss. Last time I did a big boss of these things, I actually got a lot of people to join this. Saint. Looks like a support option. But you, when I'm on my own, that's not a good idea. I am going to have to talk to Sam about this next chance I get him. Yeah, he's not busy, boss. That man does a lot. Yeah. Let's get out Mr. T with a battle axe. 
He's got a who in the what now? He's got an axe, Mr. T. Classic. There. Now back to Duck Hunt. Imagine someone streaming a flipping AR game like flipping Duck Hunt. It'd be an idea to actually replace the eggs though. Mm. Your third box already. They do that in a lot of um I think there's a VR game. I think I know what you mean. It's like it acts like Duck Hunt, but there's like a big oh Five Nights at Freddy's level jump scare thing going on with it. Yeah, there is uh Oh, yeah, there is like a Hunter's a... game came out not that long ago. Oh yeah, I remember. Matt Pat's retiring in two days. My yeah. Oh god, I forgot oh. about that. Matt Pat, I'm gonna miss yeah. Matt Pat. Like, so we're talking about like rail shooter type games. My brain is thinking there was like a rail shooter ish thing in the recent FNAF VR game. Um like a Foxy Pirate Cove. Cheap ride locking thing. I think you're talking about rail shooters. Like, uh, how, what would you? How would you describe Duck Hunt again? Because it's not the the world's first first person shooter, is it? Um, no, that was so, sort of. It's like a rail shooter. Gold Eye, was it? No, I think it was Doom. First, first person she was. Doom, Doom is the first song. Yeah, it is Doom. Yeah, no, um, because Duck Hunt, I don't remember you moving around, so you don't control where you move. Um, and if you do move, um, I don't remember. Um, so we have seen clips. It's because you're moving um, stages. Yeah, moving stages. That, that would be called a rail shooter. I've actually heard of some madman who's actually managed to get Doom to work in a Minecraft server. I mean, nice. I'm sorry, if that, it, you can run Doom on ev everything. You know, that yeah, screen, I'm pretty sure there's a there's a Doom emulator a screen, on. Yeah, if it has a screen, you can run Doom. Like I could play Doom right now. Oh, on your Ring Switch. Thing, and it's one of the retro games that's included. Mm. <laughs> Imagine playing Doom like on a PS1 clock. Emulators. <laughs> Not a smartwatch or anything, just a fucking grandfather clock in the hall, just playing Doom. <laughs> LED clock playing, <laughs> playing Doom. Oh, it's up there. It's on the upper table. Yes. Me thinking about like trends on the internet makes me remember about Twitch plays Pokemon and the whole thing with Lord Helix. What? Ugh. You know, Lord Helix, the whole thing about Twitch plays. You don't know about Twitch no, plays? You know. Skyrim, or, you know, um, so, um, of that one. yeah, um, Twitch Plays is basically like the Twitch chat controlled a Pokemon save file. Oh, right, okay. And, like, there's this oh, whole thing. There's a whole thing, like, I think a Venomoth managed to kill a Lannister's Dragonite or something. Don't ask me how that happened. And like the main thing was like the MVP of the run was uh, Armor Star, and then the, the massive trend of Lord Helix came from that. Mm. Wild. A custom grandfather clock that can run Doom, or well, just mix it in with the original arcade oh. cabinet. Doom did come in an arcade cabinet, right? No. Or am I getting no, mistaken for something else? You are, you'll be getting this thing, yeah. But there are definitely games that did that. There were definitely early rail shooters, like, um... Contra, wasn't it? I was like Day of the Dead, stuff like that, was... came from arcades. Uh, thinking of Dead, Dead reminds me of the Book of Life. Awesome Day film, of the though. Dead. I can't remember. It was like, there was a zombie game. Because that could be a movie name, I don't remember. But, like, there were, like, really early rail shooter arcade things. Um, that were on arcade. House of the were... Um, Mike that says it. Yeah. yeah, House of the Dead. House of the Dead. Yeah. And this is my statue of my Bagon. Theme. First. Uh, 
console, because it was a console, I think. It might have been PC, though. Doom is the first person shooter game developed by published by Acid Software, released in December 10th, 1993, for DOS. So I think it was DOS, DOS for PC? Think so. Come on, duckies. Have some hair dye. Put in a nice teal blue in your hair. That's literally, that's literally what they did. They just had a dye in their hair. I am planning to get my hair dyed again once my fringe comes back out. Uh, did you dye it blue one time or was it blonde? Both. <laughs> I remember it seeing you blonde, and I want to say I saw it blue. You, you look good in blue. I believe it's nice. I'm planning to have it highlighted, not completely covered. So it's a mix of the new colour and my natural colour. Yeah, I was thinking about doing something yeah. new with my hair as well. I'm, and also it would kind of fit I'm with the amounts that Tori's made, so... Cause I'm, at the moment, I'm kind of false advertising myself, considering all my emotes have me with dyed hair. With blue hair, yeah. MS DOS was a operating system for the X864 based personal computers, mostly developed by Microsoft. So yeah, it was a PC. I thought DOS yeah. was a bleach. A really early PC. Doom was a really early PC. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I have to be careful as well. Whenever Tori shows up and if I yawn, they do a Sleepy J thing where they just spam that one emote of me yawning. Doing the cartoon sleep noise. No, I mean it could Honk be worse. It, it could be worse. It could just be Jay either yawning or singing to himself, and in editing, I am just zooming into him. I'm dreading the day you're going to do that. <laughs> Many times I have done that. Considering or he's you had. Pushing and he's doing that. Considering you had the titanium, the titanium to put my voice under Homer Simpson. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. Well, I'm still not over the fact you put a JoJo reference in my content. <laughs> and the fact that it got copyright written. But that was a good episode. That was really fun to edit. Um, it doesn't matter. So. I don't, has that been released yet? I don't know. It's Is the that last, public yet? It's the last video to be um, put public. Oh okay, god, that's like in April, right? Yeah, the 11th Late of April. April yeah. Oh, I don't know, like maybe me saving Tori and then me losing my stuff over and over again while uh, Croy watches in ex expertise belief, but then gets attacked herself to the point where she's in pa panic. It was April 29th, it should be, I think. Yeah, April 29th. Hang on. Yeah, April 29th. So I'm, not, April. I'm not joking, I actually lost my stuff a lot that day. I lost a very yeah, good pickaxe. Really it just, it was um, just a bad day for everyone. Oh, there it is! There it is, you so, sneak! So, what happened in that episode was Jay went to go mine, followed by Tori, um, and they just kept dying. Um, I was the only one that was sort of defending them, and then a uh, zombie picked up Jay's sword and diamond fire, and it just, you know, obliterated both. Tori and Jay seven times. They died six times in total between the both of them. Um, and with me, with stone tools, because by that point I'd only been there for about five or six things, still had stone tools and leather armor. I think I'd stolen some golden armor from someone. Yes. Who um, helped them fight. Yes, but when you think about it, you were the strongest person in that room considering we lost all our stuff. We lost all our stuff, yeah. Which yeah, kind of makes it funnier. Yeah. So there, there, there's there's a great scene, my, th this is one of my favourite jokes from that episode, where I'm a fighting zombies, I run away, and you see in the distance a clip back to Jay where, where he's just organising his infantry and you see me running away. And it clips back to me fighting. Jay organizing his inventory. I'm not anyway, sure. I'm not Jay sure if it's too. I'm, I'm not sure if it's too late to do it. In the, within the horrors, and Jay's just like, we're gonna work. I'm not sure if it's too late to do it, but what if in that scene where you see, we see you running? It's just the sound effect yeah. of Scooby Doo running. It's just the. <laughs> so 
so yeah, so I do highlight that. I don't think I highlight the the noise. And yes, it is too late. Episode, long episode. Like, you know that sound effect when like um the like mystery inca just running in that one re reused scene they always use it's just the sound yeah, of those yeah. um, footsteps violently running yeah. so that episode is already uploaded, I, think. I think i might um i think i might be finally sorting those videos out this weekend because uh let's just say um I might need a distraction. Yeah. See, Mike, the portal episode was a lot later. I'm I'm only about five or six streams. Mike, I think I'm still editing the fifth stream. The portal episode was like thirty streams in, like six, two to three streams to the end. We did get a lot of content out of Minecraft. I'm surprised we managed to end it when we did, frankly. But. It yeah. So the edit team just takes forever um, and I, I'm, I'm not a very healthy um, person how how long is it do you think it was going to take before it actually starts to show the new format because it's still on the back when i was streaming on playstation maybe another 10 to 15 streams jesus from the beginning maybe i don't know yeah it's quite quite a lot actually and you change your format quite a bit um, well like, like i actually have like a functioning overlay to a point where it looks like I'm actually streaming on PC. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't remember. I prefer the old version because I prefer it just being footage. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do when we have to use the overlay version. Um, I already have to decide. We'll see. Because you, well, you changed the, the layout a lot. And I'm going to have to explain that. I think it might have to be the case where you literally just crop out the window where the gameplay is and my face. Yeah. I have uh, thought about that. The problem with that is it's going to be so blurry, the footage. Yeah. Um, because it's now zoomed in and then zoomed in even more when I have to do things. Um, if I knew this was a problem, I, if I knew this was a problem, I would have um, uploaded just the gameplay on its own as well. Yeah. But the problem is you sometimes forget to record, so we just have to deal with what we have. Um, and there's going to be a few times where you're going to have to get a few f bits of footage from the chat. Because obviously people yeah. talk while we're doing this sort of thing. Talk with it, yeah. it might be easier for that, though, because no. um, instead of doing the PlayStation, how the PlayStation does it, cause I, I sometimes zoom in on when people talk um, and back and forth between conversations. That might be easier. Um, that's that's the only benefit to um, having the overlay. Is it going to help um, you now that I've given you that outro song and the um, the panel I usually use to end the videos? Well, I'm not. I haven't changed the format any time. Um, I don't think I'm changing my format. Um, um, how do I say? So basically, for the editing, I want it to be distinct that people know it's me that's editing, not you. Fair enough. So, um, the, then the endings is usually how you do that. Um, that's just your format. That's just how you edit and I edit differently. Um, whether, you know. I do personally want to unless, recommend unless, unless a... You, mm. Unless you really specifically wanted it, want it, want that. No, no, no. If you want to do it the way you want to do it, do you do it that way? It's just, I thought maybe you could want some extra resources just in case. I, I can think about it. Um, I do want to recommend this video transition because it seems like it works really well. Uh, I think it's called Radical. Uh, on, on Da Vinci Resolve, yeah. Um, da Vinci Resolve. I will type that in and try and remember that. Radical um, Cross Cross Resolve? Cross? What's it called? Dissolve. In I will probably forget by the time I get back to editing. Not worrying, worrying about it. Not worrying about it at the moment. Um, Funny. Last week I was looking for chicken. Now I'm looking for duck. <laughs> birds. Bird time I'm for real. Birds. I'm happy. I'm a bird person. Well, I, I say I'm a bird person. That's my. 
meta joke online or something. Yeah, like it's kind of obvious that you would be a flying type trainer if you were ever a Pokemon yeah. gym leader. Fortnite, my best boy. And there's also Hunchcrow. Mm. Who, who? Hunchcrow was a who crow? I thought it was just a crow. I thought it was just a crow with a mob boss hat. Yeah. I don't like it's that a witch. Thing. No, it's a mob boss. It's a witch. How is Hunch Crow a that witch? That is a little witch's assistant. Mike, okay, is Hunch Crow a mob boss or a witch? Put a witch hat on. Some, someone put it in Discord because I just don't remember. So we're now going to argue. That fucker has a witch hat on. Don't you don't you dare side with the witch. So are we arguing over the evolution of a Pokemon class now? You too. Hunch Crow becomes a mob boss. It's got like a, an ascot and a scarf and everything. Pokemon Hunch. Oh, there we go. Hang on. Code. Oh Google. no, 69, <laughs> the funny number wasn't shiny. No. I'm sorry, I've got to say it looks like a fedora. It's still hair, but it still looks like a fedora. Do you see witches wear fedora, that Kira? That or um, one of those hats from like the Renaissance period. Um, in the Renaissance period, like... Um, Three Musketeers, one of those ones. Looks, looks like a Three Musketeers hat, hat. I don't know. I look at that thing and I go, that thing's helping out a little witch. I'm sorry, but that's oh, called... Especially that... with, with, the, with Murkrow as well. I'm sorry, that one's called Miss Magius. That's, that's the witch! <laughs> I swear to you. Uh, why do you think that dog type? Because they're. Version? No? No. Oh, the shiny version's purple. Okay. Yeah, I've seen. So, the, the one with the witch hat, I'm pretty sure that's fine art. Because the normal Pokemon doesn't have that. No, so no, I'm looking art. at the sprite. I'm looking at the original. Back in my day, Pokemon didn't move. <laughs> I don't know why I've always associated with with witches. I just have. Oh, sorry. Hello. Hey, I can join and call since my computer is not working on me along with my headphones Hi. being used for a different device. Oh, that's completely oh, fine. Damn. Right. Right. Please we're around. we're trying. Please, Tori, bring shiny luck. Bring shiny luck. You got shiny itis. No. Yeah. That, but, thank you for the weird overlay thing, the like talking sprite thing. What's it called? A VTuber thing. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. That's cool. I I've always wanted. I, yeah, I've always wanted that for this group, but I've like I, I don't know how to do that. So I'm glad you're smarter than me. Come on, bring the shiny luck. Nope. Quick, someone dye the hair. <laughs> Ble bleach the Quaxley's hair and then give us some cyan blue. Come on. I have to be honest though, um, I'm not sure if this is just because of a coincidence, but it does seem like Friday, um, it does seem like Friday works a bit better for everyone. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, I just have no day. days at work this week. Had, yeah. So it's just a coincidence. Just good luck as well for not being stupidly unwell. I had a really bad headache earlier, so... Mm. You know, I keep getting this thing. I was having a discussion with a friend the other day. He just... has chronic, like, chronic pain. Um, and I try to describe how that works for me. And she was like, ha have you gone to the doctor? And I'm like, oh, I know exactly what it is. I've done damage to myself. You know, the last trip I went to, to, to the hospital. So, 
just got my Discord working. Now, now, I'm, <coughs> in pain. now, I'm, just, now I'm just in pain. Is your, just ache. Is your Discord still bugging with you, Tori? Oh. oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, you know that thing the other day when um an ad played right after you pl um activated one. It happened just now yeah. with Crowy. We 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 had that three times in one go. That is just something that does happen sometimes on Twitch. I've seen it before on other channels. Um, yeah. but yeah, when. But sometimes what it'll do, it'll play two ads back to back for not every viewer. Yeah. Like you could be sitting there watching it and there'd be no ad. Yeah. Drives me nuts though, I want control over it. Because I wanna be I wanna be able to definitely say to Jay, Oh, thirty seconds advert, pause, we continue you know? And then we can just continue. But Frankly, I'd feel a bit better about it if I actually did get some ad revenue out of it. But at the moment, yeah. no. Yeah, but you get ad revenue for every, like, a thousand views of an advert that, you know, people are here for. With there only being a few of us for every stream, um, hmm. we're only ever going to get, like, a few. Interesting. We have, a long of time. we have five views. You know what this... We, did, we, have, we now have four. Well, I'm saying, if it stays at a certain margin... We could try and raid tonight. That never works, then. We just don't have enough people ever. It's worth a try. They don't. People don't stay. Pe pe people don't want to be our friend. Mm. So, um, did you guys... Oh. So my Discord was deciding whether or not it should be connecting to a call I'm in right now with some friends, and I hate not being able to hear anybody. So what I had to do is go to my test manager and close it there and all of a sudden just go yeah i've had that problem myself it's annoying the fact that every time i want to open up discord i have to close it permanently through task manager and then it works fine i don't I haven't had that problem for a while so. it's annoying oh, but, but i also have a habit of not keeping discord open anyway for long periods of time so you know once i'm done here i just close it and continue on with my day so I only I only really open Discord properly when I need to use it. If I know I wanna like have a conversation with someone or I'm like something in. Um I'm not like one of those people that has Discord open constantly. Um so yeah. We're gonna need as much people as we can you know, during my stream When I open it Discord launches immediately along with mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh usually because it has to update because I don't use my laptop very often. Uh, also, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm saving up for a new one, one though. I have it set to not doing that. But again, I mostly use my mostly use Discord on my phone, so because it's quicker. Yeah, same. <laughs> Don't know where that came from. Tired. You had a stressful day. Did that's I get? Where that's oh my god, a skidoo. A skidoo. Honestly, I have to say now. I just traded. Uh, uh, I I also have a bunch of Fue Cocos from when I was also doing that shiny hunt. I was doing it at the same time. Uh, the, 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 this is what I meant uh, when I said that every time I yawned, Tori reacts viciously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I had both the boys in their fucking hell gala. Hell gala. Hell gala? Held the Hellfire Gala for Marvel. No idea. Uh, they finally added New Game Plus to Spider-Man 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, did anyone see how crap Mega Mind and the Doom Syndicate was? It looks so bad. Because the Rotten Tomato mm. scores have come out. I watched the trailer. The trailer looks so bad. It's zero And I like how uh, they were like, Will Ferrell was like, could not be a part of it due to scheduling issues, and everyone was like, no. The scheduling issues after reading that script. Because the on Rotten Tomatoes, it's zero percent for critics, eight percent audience. Oh. It's yeah, like it the single bad. worst movie of it, all time. The trailer looked bad. I, there's nothing exciting about it at all. The thing is, um, reviews are starting to come in for Kung Fu Panda Four. Mm. It doesn't look as bad as people were expecting. Like, it's been getting sevens and eights. It's been getting sevens and eights. After the whole, like, review bombing 
of like video games and movies, that is now a thing. <clears throat> um, uh, 7.8 7. out of 10. Too much water. <laughs> You know what I mean when I say that. Such a low review score for Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, one of the greatest remakes the games have ever seen. And it got downgraded because it, the person playing the game didn't like the, how much water was in the Hoenn region. Wasn't that IGN? Yes, it was. That was an IGN thing. See, oh, sometimes was, IGN has bad takes. Mean? The, the other bad take for IGN that I find really famous was Alien Isolation. I think that is such a clever game. Um, now, I don't like horror games, uh, generally. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to play it. Oh. However, I can definitely admit when a, when a game is a piece of art, and that is one of them. It, it's like a five or something. It's like that low. And I'm like, it's not that low. Well, like, if you like horror, yeah. you're going to really enjoy it. Um, I don't like being scared. Like, so. I'm super, but. I'm super excited for the console release of Poppy's Playtime. Oh god. I'm very very excited about that. Mm. I don't know when it's coming, but when it is, I'm getting it. No duckies yet. Have fun. Like here's the thing. Things like stuff like that, I, I I enjoy the content of it, like on YouTube, but it's not a game I would play because no. I don't like being scared. Oh, like, I, 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 I think it's I Ki it. Kira can vouch for me when I say this, but I don't react well in scary environments. No, Like imagine. I mean, I played uh, Resident Evil Seven in VR. Ooh. Mm, wow. No way. Yeah, <laughs> which is a choice. Ooh. It took a long time. It took me a couple of months to actually get through the whole thing because oh, when it's in VR, happened. it's a whole lot worse. Was like seeing Marguerite. Up close yeah, in VR, yeah, biohazards. Yeah. Seeing Marguerite up close in in VR, oh boy. Um, is Margaret the person with the uh, bug, bug, the bug, bug lady? Yeah. Bug lady. The, yeah. Um, interesting place to put a that, beehive. Oh boy, that was rough. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I'm I mean, I've also played it for, not in VR. Yeah. It streams that also. I don't mind being scared at least now. Being paranoid and panicked like with Dead Base Two, if you know the bit, you know. Oh, you mean the bit where he tries to scan his eye and you know he gets impaled? <laughs> hmm. I see the only game I don't think I've ever played a horror game now I'm thinking about it. I have debated playing Village. Like it's been the only time where I've looked at a video game and Village gone, one, is day, so good. one day I wanna pay that off and play it. I haven't, I don't own it yet, but one day I It's so good. Um, I don't think I've ever played a horror game, but I know I never will. Yeah, it's not. It's not a never. Well, I guess Dead by Daylight is the closest, but I know had a. I, I think I had a full-on panic attack last time I played it. Oh, that's Dead by Daylight. Oh. Like, I, I, did, I, don't, I, don't, like, I didn't get I caught or anything. I didn't get caught or anything. But, like I was in such a heightened state of like adrenaline yeah. where I was just trying so hard, and the fact is, the guy playing the monster, he was right in front of me where I was hiding in a locker, and it was like that for like. 10 minutes because he was struggling with another player. He didn't notice me. Yeah. Lucky. But then I was like... I, I think the other player was me. me. No, the other player was Ben. Who's Ben or me? I can't remember. Like, I remember correctly. Ben was the monster and Aiden... Like, he was being chased by Aiden. But then I got to a point where, like, they walked off and I made a break for it, opened the door and legged it, and then when I, when I released that adrenaline... Panic attack. Mm. I hate that feeling. I know that people love that feeling, but it's not its not me. It's, I'm I, one I of like, those people. I like being in like, control. The thing is though, like, when control, when all that happened, happened, I didn't say a word. Yeah. And I think that was why no one saw me, because I didn't react. Well, I didn't seem to react. Killer yeah. can't hear your microphone, so I don't think they oh. can. Yeah. Can the killer hear your microphone? Oh. Uh, well, well we um, were playing a custom game, and we were also in a oh, we were also in a party chat, so yeah, you could hear everyone. You could, yeah. Yeah. That's cheating for the for killer. That's cheating, but sure. We didn't really care. Yeah, I guess you want to play together, yeah. Why? Okay. 
when, when we do it, it's more just like, oh well, it's it's it becomes a, a game of uh, truth and lies. <laughs> lies yeah. and truths. Ooh, Which is ready. also makes it a li just a little bit, little bit more uh, exciting because when someone is the the killer and they're just like, "Hey, turn around," <laughs> and you're like, "Oh fuck, fuck, wait, no." <laughs> Why would you listen to the fucking monster? Uh, because more often than not, when Ben does, actually behind me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't think I do. I might Love it. horror games, though. Really Ooh, enjoy. we got a full-on battalion here. What was it? Me and Ben played uh, one of the... What is the series called? Cannot remember what the series is called. But it's basically like a uh, choose-your-own adventure type uh, horror game where you can play with someone else. Right. Uh... And... Oh, oh, I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, is it the werewolf one or is it the? No. Okay. There it was is. zombies on a world warship, I think. That's what it was? What is it called? It's da like a, it's a series though. Dare I say? House of Ashes. Dare I say? Dark Pictures Anthology. Yes, that's it. Dark Pictures Anthology. Um, yeah. Which, which one? Yes. The was it the ghost ship, which was one of the earlier games? Dare I say? Yeah. Oh, Let the shit. battle. Yeah. Play that. Begin. That shit is. Oh boy. It was. Oh, uh, we were also a little drunk while playing it. Um, which didn't help. But that's probably my favorite Madame. way to play horror Madame. games. Madame. A little drunk. Big Rat Monarch is in the lead with two kills. Um, Wahoo! Yeah. yeah, I unlocked a new unit, so I thought I'd um, I think throw I that in like... there. I think my guy's unkillable. Ow. Those are the only other games I've debated playing before as well. Um, Layers well, of would, Fear, would, the I first play, one. Yeah, I would play until dawn. That's also a very good one. I owned it. Um, yeah. Um, so I, as, I, as I've gotten older, I've gotten slightly more comfortable with stuff like that, but I'm not quite there yet. Um, but yeah, I feel like the Dark Pictures Anthology would be really good if everyone's all sitting on a sofa and you just decided, let's have a party, let's play these games, you know? I feel like that would be fun. I feel like mm. I'd be quite comfortable. But otherwise... They are horrifying though. Oh, I was... Be playing oh, sh myself. piss in my pant. Sorry, what? For real. The Dark Pictures games, they are... Oh, they got some good scares in there. Have you heard of these? Do you know what these, what these are, Jay? No, and I don't think I want to. <laughs> how, how do you explain them? Like a choose-your-own-adventure, like... It's like video game movie so basically, concept. it's a it's a horror game where you kind of explore around certain areas, but you're given certain choices. Each player is given a choice, which is different, and it depends. There's different endings to the game, basically. So based on your choices, mm. could it could be different. Mm. Uh, well, um, I ended up dying first. Mm. Well, the only points and click then... adventure I can really think about at the moment is Baldur's Gate 3. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that game. That I just got to Act 3 well. in both of my playthroughs. Well, to be fair, we. Would... Oh, don't tell me anything. I don't want to know. Can Can we please? Get oh, on? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to say anything about it. I mean, I'm my so my so. my main tav, and the other one is my dirge playthrough. Can we please play the Dragonborn and play for at some Where point? We haven't in played my it in main ages. Playthrough, I have created Aragorn, son of Arathorn. <laughs> I've, I've just in Baldur's Gate. And just had that fight and the machine. Oh, and yeah. This machine by Julian K. Did you, um... Did you go in the in the machine or did Lazel? Lazel did. Um, um, so yeah. funky thing about the, the machine... Mm -hmm. Afterwards, uh, if you don't manage to get Lazelle out of it in time, uh, she gets like she dies. Like she? certain of her stats gets lowered. No, oh, she doesn't die. Yeah, she doesn't. Got, no, she, got she out doesn't out die. Before. Shadowheart doesn't approve. But if she's in there for the full time, there's basically what will happen is if you cannot save her at all, the Dream Visitor will go. Fuck it, I'm stepping in. 
Right. Uh, and helping. So the dream visitor shouted at me at a moment, and I, I was like, oh, I need to get her out now. Um, yes. And then, um, I, then, then she got out, so I got to that point. Um, I also yeah. beat a... Not a puzzle, I beat a roll where it said, oh no, this is definitely bad. Like, out, yeah. out, get out. And I'm like, it was like, to tell me that the gift Yankee was lying, I think. I beat a roll. Come um, on. Yeah. Give me, give I'm me like, a... I'm like, oh, I'm so displeased. I wanted this to be like, take the worm out, but oh well. Come on, give I me a... Take, you know, I didn't do anything with a hag. Come on, I give me a duck with... A roll, though, you know, pick around. I know. did. Give me a duck that spent too much time in the sun, uh, please. because the Volo thing gives you a funky buff. Yeah, but it also gives you a debuff and other things, and I'm like, the debuff and other things wasn't for me. I didn't like that. The Volo? Yeah. You lose an eye, you get a debuff and a... Uh, oh, that goes. Just you don't get a debuff for it. No, you get dark vision if you get the eye, but you get a debuff in perception because you lose an eye. Oh yes, uh, that a, thing happened. You get a that lets you see invisibility. Yeah. Um, yeah, something like that. The, the, like perception, you get like minus two perception or something. Yes, uh, Kratos lost his eye. I don't eye remember seeing that. Kratos lost That's his eye in um, when we went for the playthrough. Never noticed that. Oh God, I'll have to check. When I was reading about it, well, uh, you got. I... Well, as of patch 7, you no longer receive a permanent debuff from allowing Volo to jam an ice pick into your retina. So that's not a thing anymore. That was... Funky. Also, they broke Minthara. Oh, no. They broke Minthara again, and I'm her. upset about it. So that... Um, I spared her. Why do I keep doing oh, that? In my... My... Tav playthrough. I just knocked her out. Mm. Didn't kill her. Uh, but in my no dirge playthrough, I wanted to let her live, uh, but the quest bugged and I had to kill her. <laughs> oh. Right, quick. No, I, I killed her. Yeah. Right, quick, guys. Uh, good, good sort of, um, right, quick. My... But basically, what? without. I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but basically, mm. in Act 3, if you're playing dirge, you're given mm. a choice, mm. and if you reject that choice. Mm. Uh, Minthara will now break up with you if you are romanced with her. Which makes no sense because it is incredibly out of character for her. Um, but she will then still it's stick around really and hard. still give you kissy. Which also makes no sense. Like, she just yeah. broke up with you, but you could still go up to her and go, Can I have a kiss? Afterwards. So, uh, right. Okay, guys. I need you to come Thank up you. with... I need you to come up quickly with the most famous ducks in all yeah. of media. Yeah. Quick. Pause for a well, why that? Need to pause. While that's happening, I need you guys to come up with the media's most famous ducks to conjure the shiny dog. It's, it's 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 you know what it is. Donald Howard Daffy. Ah. My brain was thinking Ducktales. Scrooge McDuck. Duck. <laughs> yeah. You know yes. the jingle, but you yes. didn't think to say Ducktales. Scrooge McDuck. Uh, you know in the in the modern DuckTales, David Tennant is Scrooge? I'll, I love that. I yeah. he, he blew he's that really, one away. Really good I love him. that, man. Yeah, if, you're good. If you're, willing to, if, you're willing to, if you're willing to take a golf club of a Scotsman, you better be willing to bash him with it. <laughs> That's actually a quote he says in the, in the show. That's actually quite violent for, for Disney. Not, not exactly violent for Scrooge McDuck, though. He's Scottish. No. Point. There were three ads apparently, according to Tori. Yeah, it's a nightmare. Oh. It, it was a lot better this time, though. We actually need to start making. I, I think we're getting to that point where we need to start making like, custom memes for things that have happened in this chat. They're gonna add jail. Tori. Wake up, babe. New new version of gay baby jail unlocked. I I know I I know when Tori gets an emo idea, they get very quiet. And since we just said add jail, I'm getting concerned. We 
used to make that joke in Minecraft when we were playing in Minecraft. It was just like, oh, I'm in our jail. Kim would just be like, I'm in our jail, damn it. Our jail. Yeah. 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 Just like, you know, just literally, I literally add jail. A jail. Yeah. Like a like a bars. Yeah, just me behind oh, bars and it just has add on it. Let's see, we'd have add jail for the content. Probably if you were... Because, like, you oh yeah, yeah. Was yeah. Like that yeah. that's another one. Just just yeah. Mike's penguin just screaming for the content. Yeah. To Tori, we, we were talking about um when the ads lock us out from watching the stream because they're being a nightmare. We call it ad jail. Oh. And we make an emote with the word ad with a jail over it. With bars. You see what I mean? Actually, they've gone. You see what I mean? They've gone quiet. Yeah, they've gone quiet. Right by the powers of Scrooge McDuck, Huey Dewey Louie, Launchpad McQuack, Donald Duck, Daffy Duck, Howard the Duck, all the ducks all out there. Please make what this was, shiny. What was the? What was the, What were their their names? What were they actually supposed to be? It, what a, Jet, Rebel, and Turbo. Don't I could have been Turbo. <laughs> Don't forget. Daisy, there's Daisy. I'm sorry, Goofy. Daisy. Goofy isn't a isn't a duck. He's, he's a, a dog. dog. He got that dog in him. What the dog doing? We've got to name, we've got to name the, the dog. dog. So what? what oh, Mimikyu. Oh, um. I don't think we're naming it Mimikyu. We should we should name it Goose. That's actually Goose. pretty. Thing is, it's got a Brazilian origin, so I've, <clears throat> it's got a Brazilian origin in its final evolution. So I feel like it should be something Brazilian themed. Yeah. So, yeah. so what is the Latin American? Is there a Latin American? Brazi is it not thinking? based off uh, flamenco? It's specifically based on carnival. Yeah. Carnival. You know, the biggest party in the world. Yes. I know, but it's like Sora, Donald, and Goofy. <laughs> Da, 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 and right, okay. Da, I'm I am not making this up, but I've done research on um Quaquaval. Yeah. It has a reason why it has a dump truck. Pokemon always has the weirdest reasons. For, like, like, telling me they gave that bird some ass for a reason. It's based on Brazilian people. And what are Brazilians Who's known for? Fucking not the Brazilian butt lift on the bird. They've literally made it have a dump truck because it's based I on Brazilian believe people. This. Why do you think Ske they gave the bird a Brazilian butt lift? I cannot believe this. That that might be a bit insulting. I, they get, I <laughs> cannot. Oh I my god. Why do you think Skeledurge got a Mexican style skull on its face? It's based on Mexican well, culture. Like Day of the Dead, yeah. The at this with Murtors, to be specific. Cheeked up on a Friday. I feel like I'm gonna be feeling. I'm gonna feel weird doing this, but I have to do it to prove the point. What? What? What are we doing? I'm concerned. Wait. When the fuck did we start talking about dump trucks? When we're talking about why Fibon Quaquavel has one, it's because it's based on Brazil. Oh, that's a... Mm, uh, I guess we just got another hacked in shiny. Oh no. You know, <laughs> you know what makes it worse? There's a very high chance that every Quaquavel you'll ever see will be a male. <laughs> not as bad because right there are some video games where they will give you uh, a, an achievement for looking up someone's skirt near autotoma yeah, lollipop Tartima. chainsaw yeah. that'd be worse sometimes sometimes i like achievement hunting and it's like oh if i ever get to those games um oh, no. oh. Oh, there is an achievement in Baldur's Gate, which I think is no. so funny. Is it the one where you Do have you to turn off your... you know what I'm talking about? Actually, no, it's a spoiler. I'm going to shut my mouth, actually. Never mind. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I'm very slow with playing games. Um, I've been procrastinating playing Baldur's Gate for like the last two weeks. Thanks. There's I actually have three campaigns going at once. Figures there's actually an achievement <laughs> in Helldivers where you have to kill yourself with your own grenade. 
That is oh, one of the achievements normal. in Elder Darkness. I think that's very I've funny. I've seen, I've seen that one. I've seen that one before in other games before. I've done it as well. What was it in Battlefield Five? It was run like five people over in a truck. And I'm like, oh, <coughs> oh there's an achievement like that in one of the. I, I think there's an achievement similar to that in one of the prototype games. I can't remember if it's one or two, but it's basically in the prototype games. One of your abilities is you can crowd surf. And what that means is using someone's body as a fucking surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's. Uh, and I think this is an achievement for for getting a certain amount of uh, kills with that ability. <laughs> oh, th there's this really specific achievement you have to do in Helldivers 2. Where, like, there's this really big enemy if you didn't know called the Hulk. It's like one of the hardest enemies oh, yeah. to kill. It's a real pain. I'm not gonna lie. But back to my point. The achievement is you need to blow both of its arms off and then leave it <laughs> and then end the level. <laughs> and the achievement's called, can we call it a tie? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to try and find the achievement prototyping because I have the first one installed right now. Hold on. Uh, I think achievements are like some of those funny jokes though. It's so good. Ugh. We're starting to run low on eggs. Maybe I might need to make six from um, now on. Does it, how many eggs are we through? We are about... We are about one hour forty-five. If we've got some spare time, we'll try and do something very improvising yeah. and majestic. Say, so, yeah, I'll just drive around and see if I can find a shiny. A shiny, yeah. But obviously I'll reset, I, obviously I'll reset before. When, when we did the cat, you found a bunch, but you couldn't save. It was a nightmare. I still got the sloth, though. No, yeah, you got you got one of them because you actually got the shiny bed up by then. Um, <laughs> it was just, you just, did dump the eggs, so... Um, I missed the crabs and a little executor, <laughs> and I've been slack off. Oh, come on, Scroogey, my boy. Honey. It's prototype 2. Type was a shooter, wasn't it? Uh, you what can. What was it? Uh, trying to remember what type of game the prototype was. I've heard so of prototype that. is uh, it's a sandbox game, basically, uh, where you get put in a put in a city, and oh yeah, I'm remembering it now. Yeah. You c you can either do melee or. Or uh, ranged fighting. Mm -hmm. You can get a gun. You don't always have to use the gun. Most of it's using your f funky mutant abilities to mutant ability, yeah. to fucking eviscerate people. Okay. Jeez. This reminds me of Infamous. Did you know that series, Infamous? Yes. Or Infamous Second Son. It reminds me of that. Yeah. Mm. I liked him for the second time. It didn't do very well. Nitro nine hundred and ninety-one just like redeems take the depression. Weird, How evil! Can you pet I the dog in River City, because, girls? I, I won't lie. I'm probably just because I was attracted to the villain. <laughs> there, there is, there is an achievement for a game that I got, and I, the fuck was it called? It was so funny. Oh. I know some of the. It's a game I put that I game I platinumed uh, into my second song. I <laughs> this is this is a testament to how much I like uh, Spider Man, but I have four platinum trophies and all four of them are for oh. Spider Man and Spider Man two games. Sp the Spider Man PS4. Yeah. Spider Man two of them are for Spider Man Miles Morales PS4 edition and PS5 okay, edition. <laughs> And Marvel Spider-Man 2, which is the other game I have platinum. It's so nice, me platinum it twice. <laughs> However, it is it is no longer a hundred percented because I have not done the, the new game plus. And the oh, only the DLC, achievement yeah. for the new game plus is yeah. complete the story in new game plus. Yeah, that really annoys me in um, Steam uh, when. So I platinum basically I got all the achievements on Steam for Cyberpunk 2077. Um, and then when the DLC arrived and I'm like, well now there are more achievements I have to deal with, so I now have to like buy the, you know, new DLC or something at some point. Thing is, um, I feel like I'm gonna regret saying this because of um, a meme that Kira knows about. <clears throat> um, when you play Team Sonic Racing. 
idea. Um, G Nitro oh, has no. invited you to Team Sonic Racing. Oh, he's called J Nitro. Oh, think about it. Team Sonic <laughs> Racing. I know J it's so oh, funny. Oh, Every oh. time Jay would play Team Sonic Racing, it would immediately invite everyone to it without my consent. None of us own the game. What? He was not trying to invite us. He would open the game, and we'd all get an invite. <laughs> Thing. And it would happen so often that it just became every time you saw the notification, you had to say out loud, G Nitro has invited you to Team Sonic Racing. And the thing is, that actually has every been, single time. That actually has been a physical so meme fun. for that now. Yes. Oh boy. Have I and not platinum Skyrim? Oh, I have. No, what? I have everything on Skyrim. I am pleased. Um, I've I apparently have not. I've only. Abandoned. I've only oh, ever. Oh, I know USA. why. Sorry, I've oh, only ever. That? I've only ever platinum two games. One of them I'm not happy about. Hmm. Well, one of them was. was... One of them was Spider-Man Two. Like that was the first one yeah. I was probably happy about. It was Overwatch, isn't it? It was Overwatch. Yeah, yes, I I yes, I have no life. That is, I have no life. I somehow managed to get yeah, Doomfist to cheat. When it came out, I was driven to do that, and then I gave up. Apparently, I have 11 plannings. Um, what do I you have want? four. So, Hades. Total. Starfire 5. Nice. Um, that is Dragon some... Age in Dragon Age Inquisition, apparently, which I don't remember doing. Uh, Control. Skyrim. Uh, I have to keep going. Hang on. Far Cry 4. Uh, Lego Draft World and Infamous Second Son. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I think that's all of them. That was and something I wanted to got, um, ask, actually. All of, I've got all of the trophies in Minecraft on my, the Microsoft account, whatever it is for Microsoft for PC. And I've got all the trophies. In, disincluding the DLC because there's more there's more trophies now, but I got all of the trophies in the main game for Cyberpunk 2077. Um, so about think... 13 games. Oh, four, four two. So 14 games. I think I I have almost platinumed Persona 5 Royal. I and have... I am missing 15 games. I think thing three is three achievement. No, what am I missing? Oh, I I have not. It's conquer the Reaper. So yeah, beat um, the Reaper, which is fuck that. Uh, <laughs> well, that's cool. the thing. I'm going uh, to try and do that. On apparently, the stream I've never used that. incense on a persona in a lockdown. Oh. Didn't realize that. Win the lottery. That's the third one. I haven't done that either. There's five I haven't done. Uh, ordered th from the special menu at the Maid Cafe. Uh, yeah, and I'm, there's mm. one more I haven't done, and it is. I, but I thought I had done it, but apparently I haven't. Oh, I think it's help Sojiro. Hmm. I've done that one, the, I think. The yeah, help Sojiro clean up. No, I have done that. Wait, no, no. So I, uh, sorry, the five I'm missing, but platinum. The four, I, yeah, I haven't ordered from the special menu at the maid cafe. I haven't won the lottery. I haven't used incense during a lockdown, and I haven't beat the reaper. I don't think yeah. that Swins has I an achievement, you need Mike. Play for that, don't you? Entirely, to be, uh, I'd have to do another one, probably. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. I mean, like... I'm in the middle of another one again. That's so, the yeah, thing. Think, yeah. Um, I'm tempted to try and do it in my new game plus, because that would just make that, it a lot easier. Yeah. Well, that—that's what—that's what I'm going to do when I go back I've to five. Oh, that's what I'm going to do when I get back to five royal. And frankly, yeah. I think I'm going to need help keeping track of what achievements I want to do. So I might have to take pictures of the achievements I haven't got, so maybe I can get some help with that. Oh, so you're going to do like a, an achievement run for... Yeah, like, I'm going to do a New Game Plus run of Persona 5 Royal. But also I'm going to try and platinum them at the same time. Okay. Um, I assume that's going to be... I assume you're going to stream that and that's going to be a part of the story. Or whatever. I well, five more. It's it's an it's an ex risk of rain too as well. It's going to be an excuse to go for the story again because I really did like the story of that game. Really good. And yeah, um, uh, I still can't get that scene. I really from the want you to play Persona Four though. Yeah, yeah. Persona 
for Persona Four was meant to be the good one. Oh, he's like, um, um, and then you can you can see uh, Yosuke, and uh, that's another one of the characters that has uh, affected me mentally, and is semi responsible for how I look today. <laughs> Thing is, um, <laughs> there is that one scene in the story that. I can't get out of my head for some reason. It's just that scene where Yusuke tries to sketch Anne, but to try and get away get away from what he actually wants, she just wears like 50 uh, layers of clothes. The first time I played Persona 5, the original, that scene came up, and I knew it was coming up because I'd seen it before, and I could, uh, had called my mother into the room because uh, I, she needed to see it. Um, I'm glad you like, have that relationship with your mother. Um, uh, oh, this was a good few years ago, so it was, uh, she uh, more open to doing that then than she is now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, no. Kira. Um, so what, what had happened, so it, the thing is clear, but it's the scene where you don't see Anne yet, it's just Yusuke standing there going, have you gained some weight? And my mother's genuine reaction was like, oh girl, you need a different man, he can't treat you like that, she that this is the only time in my life she has ever said a sentence akin to that with that cadence and with that vocabulary how long were you laughing after she said that and i i was like this is so weird why is my mother speaking like that uh and then i said no no, no just hold on watch the scene and then it cuts to her in all the clothes and i'm looking at my it's like i'm looking at i'm waiting for, she did not laugh she did not laugh at all she did not find it funny and i was like well goddamn Oh. Um, also, uh, after um, all that, Kira, uh, Mike has a question for you in the chat. Don't ask about my progress with people. Seriously, don't. How many hours have you sunk into that game, <laughs> sir? <laughs> the sparks from this mod group <laughs> it makes fire. It's great. We get on. Not a question, Maybe. just a warning. No, no, we just, just don't want to ask. Just before, we, just before we continue on with the P4 chat, the only other game that was the closest to getting platinum with, which I put down for a while, I might go back to it eventually, uh, Death Stranding. I quite enjoyed that. Oh, um, Pete Simulator. Well, since that's coming out in 2026, from what that trailer said. Yeah, it's going to be a while. But I'm looking forward to it. I, did, I really did enjoy it. I understand why it's not people's thing. But for some reason, I found it really relaxing. Don't get it. I found it cozy. I thought it was a cozy game. Ooh, like, five years got, ago. Like, around um, how it works. Yeah, I found it cozy. Speaking of cozy games, unpacking is so good. Unpacking, is that that yeah. game is like moving house but overcooked? Uh, right. no, it's it not quite. Basically, it's, it. you just, you're moving houses, and you're literally just putting stuff out, packing it away. I mean, there's a part where you have to move out again. Mm. So, like you, so it starts you off in right your then. childhood bedroom, then your mm. first apartment, then your first apartment with your boyfriend, then your moving out of the moving out of the boyfriend's apartment mm. um and then moving into an apartment with what i with uh, a girlfriend then um. <laughs> happy bisexual oh, oh yes. right um a new trailer for the um second inside out movies come out and there are two things i kind of find really funny about it they've but made Riley they've made riley a lesbian <laughs> And they haven't confirmed it's, that, but like looking at it, it it's Disney. come on, it's happening. It's, it's Disney, isn't uh, it? It's Disney. Disney hates gay people, but happening. you know. And the other, yeah, if it is there's not. But I remember, what did I? It. I saw a tweet earlier today about it. Like, and um, thinking, yeah, fair enough. You know that um other um uh, emotion that showed up in the first trailer, anxiety. He's the main oh, villain. Oh no. <laughs> Anxiety is the main know. villain. How accurate is that? <laughs> Anxiety is my... Ugh. In my opinion, like... Yeah, that's what Riley's anxiety looked like. My anxiety looks like you could choke hold a bear. Sorry, girl. 
Sorry, I've opened Twitter and I saw that Larry and they've done another hotfix for Baldur's Gate, so I'm just I'm checking nice. for update nice. now. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, New update no for update. Baldur's Gate. Mm. Is it live? Oh, hang on, let me go and check my Steam Deck so I can. It's live. They just tweeted 13 minutes ago that Fix is now live on Mac PS5. The thing is, um, when I found Quaxley, I'm going to be replacing the egg hunts with um, the shiny only run in Legends Arceus that everyone's been voting for. It was either that or Gen 6 only uh, run on Infinite Fusion. I'm not seeing anything on PC, so it might just be PlayStation. Yeah, sometimes they do um, exclusive hotfixes. Yeah, sometimes. Nope. Maybe it's just PlayStation. Looks like things are lining up okay. We're going up to the last um, set of eggs. Um, five viewers. Stream Raiders is almost ready. Four uh, sons of Jester deemed Arceus shiny sound how evil. I don't think it. I don't have anything new really to talk about. Um, I've started reading The Hobbit, so I've decided to read the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Wow! And, well, and The Hobbit, for the first time ever. Nice. Thing is, um, I might need some help with. I might need some help with this, but mm -hmm. if it goes right, I'm gonna try and make it so that specific sound, the Arceus shiny sound, it doesn't give any indication that it was from the stream, so people can really fuck with me if they do the right. Ah. That's where I'm hoping the main bit of entertainment's gonna be. Um, it's not like the F J, F -J up sound. I got you with that once. That was well, I just got jump scared by the PlayStation notification sound. Oh, hey, that, that, that's up to you. Because it one. was louder than. <laughs> but yeah, it's just. So Baldur's Gate update went real fast. If I do it right, I could make it so there's no indication it's come from the ch the stream. Man, I did this the other day where my headphones had disconnected to the TV um, or my PC. And my TV was all the way up in sound and I was playing music. Oh. And my headset ran out of battery, so it disconnected. And so all of a sudden, like at like four o'clock in the morning, just oh, music. God. And I'm like, shut up, shut up, shut up. Mm. That is the worst yeah. case scenario. Yeah. Like you know, you need to be quiet, but then something accidentally turns on, and yeah, yeah. that that was the last of the eggs. Oh, you didn't uh. find it. You got to check. Are we sure? Are we sure we didn't find it, and we didn't notice whilst we were having conversations? Crowy, what happened last time I found an egg in a, sh a sh an egg shiny? Yeah. I would not That's have missed it. 11. I would not have missed it. All right, so we'll reset. Just to add a bit extra while we're doing stream raiders, I'm gonna have a quick run around. I know, but I did promise I'd, I'll do one lap around the Blueberry Academy, and then that'll be it. Mainly because I did promise it. Wrong one. Uh, I might need to leave, unfortunately, early. That's fine. Um. I believe family members are now going to bed. So, it was lovely speaking with you all. Um, good luck. I'm sure I will hear from you all soon. Jay, I will get back to editing at the beginning of next week. Um, you should see me. Crowy, there's no um, rush, right? Yep. Pleasant conversation. Um, good luck. Good, good okay. hunts, I suppose. Looks like uh, Tori's winning this one. But then again, they've got like so many units, so. so. Cheers. Get back to me on that Steam thing. Yeah, I'll, I, yeah you, you did get the biggest Steam. laugh, so. Yeah, just reference. You can't put money on into your wallet and then send it. It will have to be a card. It needs I to know. be a physical card or something. I know. You get what I mean? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right, Tori okay. wins that one. Bye, folks. Bye. Have a good night. I'll right, try to. You. We got an ultra alien gold warrior skin. Whatever that is. Oh, I got a gold duck. Funky. Okay, that's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Gold duck. 
I need to lower you guys down. Ah hoo ha ha. There. So as I said, I'll do one lap around the Blueberry Academy. See if I get lucky in some way tonight. And then we'll... I know I know we usually do it for five viewers, but hey, let's see what happens if we do four. Let's raid tonight. See if we can get some uh, treaty going with another streamer's community. <laughs> That's basically what this is at this point. It's basically assigning a treaty. Now, where are all my lovelies? Brooklyn, Echo, Caliente, my boys, and girl. Oh, Echo's a girl. I'm not gonna miss gender. Actually, uh, Caliente and Brooklyn are the only flipping males on my flipping main team. Ooh, Rowlet, Sizzle, Trap Inch. Cool. It makes sense. Go, it makes sense to raid to a other uh, YouTube, uh, another streamer who is also Masuda Hunting. Considering that's what you guys were watching for. All right, let's see if I can get a last-minute bit of luck. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Either way, I'm just... I'm getting scared for the abilities that Crowey's showing. To a point where she, they're actually going to be pretty good at editing and making me look like a real fool. Which would be a good thing, don't... It'll be a good thing, don't get me wrong, it'll be good content, but... It does feel like Crowey's getting really good with the editing. And I... I don't know if it's just me, but I don't think they know yet. And just a hint for all the people who watch this. this okay, you, you, you've you heard that. Uh, right. <laughs> well, it's true. And just for a hint for people who watch the Academy Challenge, if I find anything on the list... What the fuck is that? I may add it to it. True might be a bit awkward to put into a quick video, but... Eh, I'll try. I'm not exactly a, <coughs> fucking I'm, shiny. I'm not exactly a Giga Chad uh, <laughs> ah, um, editor. Ah, ah, ah. What? No, I'm not exactly a Giga Chad. It's just a funny sentence. Well, I'm not. I'm not a Giga Chad editor, am I? Crow is the Giga Chad editor. Just put, just put a crow on the just put a crow on the Giga Chad body. <laughs> I can unlock a new, a new unit. Oh, that's an Esper. But that's that's the point. Like you're getting better. <laughs> you, I, I can see a genuine increase in quality in your content. I don't get why this part of the area is so laggy. But then again, it is Scarlet and Violet. For the fact that um, Legends Thanks. ZA is coming out next year, it does give me hope that the game will perform better. Is that a fucking Alolan? Alolan. Yes it is. Why is it in a Master Ball? Vespa's Sauce. the name of my Baldur's Gate 3 character, apparently. 
Uh, Crowley, Crowley said that. Vesper. Oh, I named my dirge uh, Re Olk because it means evil king in Irish. <laughs> well, in the only um, save file I have that actually has some progress in it. Which, by the way, I do want to go on that at some point. Can we please do that after we're done, Kira? <laughs> And I know Ben has that. The Dragonborn the, one? Yeah, I want, I've been wanting to go on my main save file in ages, but no one wants ben to. Ben does not want to do it. Why, though? He's got like this. He has. The way a solo kind of story play games work with him is he kind of does one and then he kind of gets burnt out with it and doesn't want to do any of the stuff he's already done again until after our head and our, our first one. Well, considering like, that's. I don't want to do it. Considering that's my main save file at the moment, that's kind of a problem. I know, but brother, you need to start your own save file where you solo run it. But the whole point of Baldur's Gate is to play it with someone. I, the whole point of Baldur's Gate is to play Baldur's Gate. Typically by yourself. That's kind of the way they intended it, but they just went, hey, if you want to, you can play it with others it's at the same time. I'll probably make everyone say that they disapprove of everything I do. Even in the chat, let alone the flipping characters. On uh, my, uh, my other run with Ben, where he's playing a paladin called Alexander Duval, I'm playing a bard called Moss. Well, uh, the main um, character I do have, um, it's a lightning dragonborn I've just named Mags. You know, Magnetic. Yeah, and every time I Mags. look at it, I think of my mother. You think your mum is a dragonborn? No, my mother's <laughs> nickname is Mags. Because her full name is Margaret. Um, let's just say, um... I call her Mags. So I see Mags and I think of my mother. And I told her about this. I was like, oh yeah, Jay, in the game I, I got for Christmas, Jay's playing as a, as a, as a dragon person. And he named it Mags. And he's just like, and she just started laughing. <laughs> Yes. And also, wasn't it the same person that basically said as soon as um, you had some private time with her, <laughs> my, is Jay autistic? My, oh, hold on, let me, let me, okay, so, my, when Jay and Meg came to visit me in, in my hometown, came to Dublin, Ireland to come see me, uh, we picked up Jay from the, from the harbor, harbor. the docks, and, <laughs> Afterwards, my mother was like, Is Jay autistic? <laughs> and I went, Oh, yeah. And she went, Oh, okay, thought so. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm After still con- I haven't spoken to him for the first time in the car. I'm still trying to contemplate whether it was a compliment or not. I don't know. I, d I don't think she meant it as a bad thing. I think she just was like, she just noticed, I guess. The fact that you're saying Jay has um, the autism card meme, I think that's actually going to become a meme now. Funny how my mother can immediately diagnose one of speaking to him for several moments, but then, you know. <laughs> as much as I'd like to agree I with you, Mike. I can recognize the, the neurodivergency. As much as I'd like to agree with you, Mike. I don't think we want to give Ke um, Crowley or Tori the trauma of doing an animation. I think if anything we just have to wait in until we get lucky enough to bump into an animator that wants to help. Oh yeah, uh, I, yeah, uh, yeah. See, my mother has spoken to this man once. <laughs> <laughs> just immediately after was like clocked him there was actually one time where um our mom's cross path actually so for a few seconds my mom's met your mom <laughs> yeah That's don't get me wrong funny. if we do ever bump into an animator that wants to join and they're not awkward to work with. Yeah, I'll add them to a mod team and we'll make them the prime animator. 
Because, like, there's no way I'm putting Crowey or Tori into the trauma of doing an animation. Unless they're willing to do it, which I highly doubt they would uh, at this point. But that's why yeah, the graphics design. Back when I was still doing art, um, I thought about kind of trying to learn how to do it, but then I was like, I am already suffering with what I'm doing already. Yeah, like, if anything, can, can someone pin the idea onto uh, the admin chat? The idea of, like, turning these crazy conversations into animations. Again, like, I don't know, sometimes I, people just do that because they want to. I have no idea when we actually do something about that, but it's mainly so we don't forget the idea. Because, yeah, it would be good content. There's a guy on YouTube who does... He anime. I don't know. Well, I say he. I don't know what the gender of the person is, but they um they make at little animations of D twenty and Drawfy. That I is think. a that is a good point. Don't some people like request to do animations for their thing, like as like a commission or something, and then it shows up on our channel, but then it gives them some promotion. I mean, yeah, you can you can commission people to do animations for for your channel, but no, this person just they just their whole like channel is just little animation. They do their own stuff as well, but they they do like they take clips from Drawfy and and you said uh, you did another gender so lizard them. person it is. Uh, personally, I really like the one from Drawfy where Jacob is. V it's either YouTube or VTubers. I think it's VTubers to the rest of to to to, to Julia, Karina, and Jake not Jacob. Oh my God, what is his name? I can't believe it. Can't believe I forgot his name. But yeah. Um, Do you have a guy I, from Drawfee? I honestly think this might be something to look into. Do you think you guys could um, scan like through like Twitter or YouTube or something and see if there's anyone who's looking for requests and. Maybe check their prices. Mainly it's just to see how the idea of an animation would work. Obviously we can just tell them to use the whole premise like... Uh, Nathan. There we go. Like, um, Mike will be a penguin, Kira, Kira will be a rat, Kira, uh, Crow would be a crow. Uh, if Tori's in the conversation, I want to say that they would be a Bram, but they've said to me before that that's not what they're trying to be. So I, I think we'd have to ask them about that. Yeah, Jacob was trying to explain to the three of them what VTubers were hmm. and kept interrupting him and he just kept getting more noise, which was so funny. Oh, um, we were just talking and um, the idea about like um, if we could try and commission someone to do a, an animation of one of our crazy conversations for the channel. And we were trying to like pinpoint what everyone's um, looks would be in an animated version. And the I was... several bees in a trench coat. Yeah, th if anything, that one would that be an idea? Well, yeah, like because like obviously uh, stop giving me hacked in shinies. Obviously, a uh, crow would be a crow. Mike would be a penguin. Kira would be a rat. Well, I know you said your character's like. Oh uh, no! It has a master ball. Let me give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. A human with goat horns or something. Tori, you are a fawn as an avatar. Um. Okay. Um. Hey, like, there are, you know, Torby. Like a bit like Torby, like it's just you, but with goat horns. <laughs> not. Not. Not Avatar the media, like Avatar as in the the characterization. Like you know how like we've been characterizing Kira as a rat because they're a rat. I don't not care. I am a rat. What do you mean? A human with. Oh, right, we can work with that. But I'm just saying. Like, if we could. <laughs> Mr. Chumness. Yeah, it isn't just a human with ram horns. Mr. Just <laughs> a fawn, or like a satyr. Well, a satyr's uh. With goat legs in it. Uh, 
I am something that's not medically um, identified. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think it's just. Bro, oh, man's an SCP. <laughs> yeah, but I was trying to go for a more um, graffiti art sort of thing to kind of fit with the fact that the channel's themed around graffiti art. I have so many fan fees. I'm trying to get rid of all of them. And my um, my spray mask would have the demisexual logo on it. I still, I still know a guy who keeps naming LGBT people LG, like BLT sandwich or something. That's kind of funny, not gonna lie. You're gonna have to give an official name to that though, Tori, because we can't just say you're a satyr, but you're also not a satyr. Fawn. But... They've said they're not a, a fawn either. They're just a human with ram horns. Should we give? I mean, from some points of view, that's just a tiefling. Should we give Meg and um, Rose a, um, a choice on if they want to have a character, considering now they're sub admins? Keep swine ups. Who's giving out all these swine ups? They're giving out fresh pork. Oh, earlier I traded with the guy and I got a Fue Coco for a Fue Coco. And I was like, I'm trying to... Ooh, oh yeah, I remember that. Like, Volcano's a Crash Bandicoot mask. But it's like the, um... Oh, Viva Vendetta mask. Like, you know, the... Guy Hawk... Fawkes? Guy Hawks? You know, the guy who tried to blow up the British Parliament. The anonymous mask. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, what do you you love? Think? Oh, Viva Vendetta is though. That's a really good movie. Do you oh, guys like? Buddy. Do you guys like the idea of actually um, commissioning an animation to go on the channel? I mean, I don't... my brother in Christ, I don't think you've got the funds for that. Well, that's why I want to research and see what the the prizes are. Obviously, if it's ridiculous numbers, then yeah, we can forget about it for a bit. But I just want to try and get the idea. I mean, commissioning art is not cheap. Yeah, commissioning art's one thing, it's commissioning a whole video. I know what you are. You're a human with ram horns. Alright then. Yeah, we think I read that <clears throat> video of the guy who is. He's like got a bunch of sticks taped to him, and he's like, "Hey guys, guess what I am for Halloween? A bundle of sticks." And then the other one's like, <laughs> "What?" I keep thinking about it. Stuck in my head for real. That's another skidoo. But yeah, um, I was just thinking for a bit about like, what's the best Pokemon for every one of the mods. I know you say you're not a goat, Tori, but I can't help but say you, your Pokemon would have been a Skidoo. Well, I'm a fan fee. I was kind of thinking. Meg. Yeah, that's that's scrappy fan fee. But if I am, if I personally, a low and uh, fucking eradicate. Alright, maybe, maybe Whimsicott. Specifically the Alolan version. Wait, actually Whimsicott makes more sense because that has horns as well. And it's fluffy. I just got another fucking Fue Coco. Crowy, I would actually Stop say... Stop giving them to me, I don't want them. For Crowy, I'd actually say a Corvus Squire. Right, no shiny. Right. Now, for Michael, I was going to say an Ice Cube. <laughs> No, I, I uh, think the sand shroom let, makes sense. Let me give you a picture of Whimsicott in the chat. Oh, someone put something in the music chat tab. That barely happens. That, that was me. That was me putting the link to Good Kid Spotify in there. Yeah, Tori, look in the Pokemon tab. That is a Whimsicott, and I can honestly say that that is you as a Pokemon. 
and it does have horns. Mike, what do you mean, oh no? Because I called him a ice cube. It was me, Barry. <laughs> I put that in twice in my playlist. For the... Yeah, yeah, we're, the... we're gonna start the raid now. Alright, can someone find me a streamer who's currently doing the, uh... Oh my god, phone it, work. It's a penguin, Please. work with it. What did I get? The fucking Japanese bug. Another emulator shutting down? Which one? Pizza emulator. Right, let's have a look for a streamer that's currently Masuda methoding. Because that's what we're doing, so if that's... There are so many mods on Twitch these days, just giving out flipping hacked raids. Well, not many people are Masuda methoding anymore. This one looks good, though. Kaya Coliseum. The streaming... XD Gale of Darkness, I think. I think. Actually, maybe not. They do look more like a... I'm streaming for that reason, if you know what I mean. Mm. Oh, that was fast. Masuda. Shiny. Mm -hmm. Is anyone legitimately shiny hunting anymore? Jesus. Oh, that thing. Okay. Okay, this person looks like exactly the last person. Yeah, this one looks good. Since... There you go. Up for you as ready to raid. Mm. Okay, dokie. Ready, ready. Just gotta make sure I'm on the person's thing. For the people who are still here, uh, thank you all for watching. Unfortunately, we didn't get the duck today. So, um, yeah, as always, next week. Uh, tomorrow will be the continuation of the Academy Challenge. 
and yes we are gonna kind of get into a rough transition of the new schedule but above all else that's all for today and i'll see you all next time see ya The stream stopped for me. Oh. Yeah, I think that's how it, it's weird, isn't it? Hey, we're getting some followers. Sincerely, sunshine cat. Uh, Just thank, thanks for the follow if you see me now. Surprise trade is done. What am I getting? <laughs> Goodbye, fan fee. <laughs> right. But yeah, for the people who are still here, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. See ya. <laughs>